Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the array function has any element, which allows us to quickly and efficiently search through an array and look to see if there is a matched element based on an expression that we define. So let's go ahead and dive in real quick. As you can see here on my screen, I have this query all records from my stuff table. I'm returning it as this array variable. I do wanna to add to the caveat that the query all records does have a return type as existence. So we probably wouldn't typically use this function with query all records, but I just wanted to uh, use a object array as an example to show you how to look through that. So you can see here we have just all this different stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and let's try and find an expression with the word ball in description specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead to arrays. I'll go to data manipulation in my function stack and find arrays here. And then near the bottom, we have has any elements. So find out if there are any matched elements. So when the right panel opens, we can first select our variable from our function stack. So an existing variable, in this case, I've named it array, pretty easy. And now you'll see that once we go into the expression builder, we want to use the dollar sign this variable because that represents each iteration of our array. So when I go ahead and do dollar sign this, that's actually the entire object, uh, each object, right? So we want to look through the description part of that object. So I'm actually going to use dot notation to drill down to that description field. And right here, uh, we could say equal to, but that would be an exact match. So we want to be a little more flexible. So what we can do here is I can use filters such as I contain. So this returns whether or not a case insensitive expression is found. There's also contains for case sensitive. And then we can put in what we're searching through. So if I just say ball here, I could also make this an input to make it more dynamic. And now we would just set this to true or false based on if we're looking for a match of this expression or not. I'd hit save and then we just have a return variable here. So let's go ahead and say match. So now if I just look for match here and I go ahead and run this, we know this should be true because we saw in the description under basketball, uh, it defined it as a ball that bounces and you can shoot hoops with. So has any element is really useful for doing conditional logic if you need to search for a certain value or values contained in an array to then do x, y, and z, else do a, b, c, has any element is very, very useful for that. And it takes out the complexity of not needing a loop so you can search through that array uh, very efficiently and in one line. So hopefully that was helpful and I hope that will uh, help your business logic in your Xano project.